Evaluate f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 5 at these three. Now, when you see the letter f, you want to think f for function. And what we're doing here is if they give you an x value, you are going to plug it in for every x you see on the right-hand side here. So if they want the f of 3, you would say 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 5. If they want the f of b, you would say b squared minus 2b minus 5. Whatever they give you, the f of something, you put something in there. So as an exercise, you could just come in here and you could put uh, a symbol, you know, wiggly line. You'd plug in a wiggly line everywhere you saw an x. Okay, so for this first one here, they want the f of 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 3 everywhere where we see x. So the f of 3 equals 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 5. Okay, and then we can work it out. 3 squared is 9, minus 2 times 3 is 6, minus 5, 9 minus 6 minus 5 is negative 2. Okay, so when your x value is 3, the value you're going to get back out, or sometimes graphing your y value, is going to give you negative 2. Now let's look at the second one. Now in the second one, we're plugging in something that's more than just a number, okay? It's an expression. It's actually a, a binomial. So the f of x plus 9. So starting from the original function on top, the f of x plus 9, right? f of x is x plus 9 squared minus 2 times x plus 9. So everywhere where there was an x, I'm plugging in x plus 9. And you always want to use those parentheses. Now, we're going to go ahead and work this out. This part, x plus 9 squared, remember you have to FOIL it out. You can't just square the first part and square the second part. When in doubt, write it out. Okay, minus 2 times x plus 9, minus 5. So let's go ahead and FOIL this. We would get x squared first 2, plus 9x is the outer 2, plus 9x is the inner 2, plus the last 2 is 81. And then we're going to distribute right here. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 9 is minus 18. Drop down to minus 5. And let's just put together anything we can here, okay? Any like terms. I see I have x's, x's, and x's that will go together. And I also see that I have numbers, numbers, and numbers, some constants that will go together. So my answer is going to be x squared plus 9x plus 9x minus 2x plus 16x plus 81 minus 18 minus 5. Get my calculator here. Fifty-eight plus fifty-eight, and that's it. Okay, you leave your answer just like that. And now let's look, look at this last one down here, the f of negative x. Okay, so once again, if we want the f of something, in this case it's negative x, we're going to plug it in everywhere where we saw x at the top. So this would be, you know what, I'm going to move to this line down here. magic. x squared minus 2x minus 5. And in this case, instead of x, we're plugging in 
negative x. Okay, parentheses will be important here. This right here, negative x squared, is going to be a positive x squared. Negative x times negative x will give you a positive x squared. Okay, that negative is in the parentheses. It happens more than once. So this is going to be x squared. Minus 2 times negative x. Minus a negative is going to be a positive 2x. And then minus 5. And that's it.